Brian, are you still living with your mom? My what? Are you living with your mom still? Is she still involved in your dating life very much? What's going on? No, no, no. I don't live with my mom, but I live in, uh, I moved out like three years ago, so, you know, okay, it's, so like, it's hard to cut the up. cord, <laughs> the umbilical cord. Um, but yeah, I'm in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Unfortunately, my parents live 20 minutes away from me, so it's easy to come home and get some good cooking, you know? That's actually quite nice. I live in Fort Lauderdale, too. We'll hang oh, out. Oh, you do? And you're friends with Alex from Winter House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's his game on a scale of 1 to 10, would you say? <laughs> it's also rubbish. <laughs> yeah, Daisy probably has some great insight. tried it on with me, like, several times. I saw that. Uh, would you, uh, any of you guys join a dating show? Like, you all are great on reality TV. Would you ever do a dating-centric show? Daisy, I feel like you are no stranger to romance on television. No, what my answer before I even say it. I would 1,000% do it. I, now that I've done reality TV, and I really like to date, before I would have said never, and I'm like, this would be so fun to document some messy-ass dating sh**. <laughs> I'm there for it. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm down to get messy. Patty Stanger is actually coming back out with a dating show, and I will be on it. She tried to match me up. Woo! So it was, you know, yeah, because you know what? I took a lot of years off to create a whole child by myself, and now he's three and a half. He's in school, so now I want to try to go back into the dating pool. But it's been a long time. It's been a whole pandemic. You know, it's been so much that's happened since I dated. But we'll see how it works. I don't know how it works. I'm asking for myself, is, are you just now getting back into dating? Yes, I just, I just opened that door for myself, yeah. Brian, do you th think you'll be a good stepdad? <laughs> Listen, I, first off, the dating game hasn't changed a lot. Yeah. It's, it's all about chivalry, you know, yeah. going out to a nice dinner, ambiance, setting the vibes, it's, it's the same thing. Let me ask you something, Brian Benny. Is sex a deal breaker if they're good and better, bad and bad, when every other box is checked? and the sex is eh, and they don't give you blowies. Well, I think, I think it's a two-part thing. I think there's mental chemistry and there's sexual chemistry and you need both, so yeah. I don't give blowies, Brian. You don't know, at all? I'm kind of like a starfish. You should work for that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, like I said, you, you could learn some new things then. Just saying. So you guys are getting married. This is exciting. You're a stepdad. I can't believe this. Can't go wrong with Brown. What can Brown do for you? That's what he said. <laughs> now, for all of you, joining Summer House, Winter House, it's known for being like a house where people have fun, are single, mingle. Would you guys be open to that? Besides Brian, Daisy, would you like to do it? Yeah, I mean, Winter Heights and Summer Heights looks way more fun than Low Decks. <laughs> a little less work. Uh, yeah, a little less work, a lot more um, partying and hooking up. So, I'm, yeah, I'm there for it. And no skorts and no polyester polo shirts. Yeah. Which me, me and UK, we, we need to go run that shit. We'd be, we'd be great at it. <laughs> no Gigi. margaritas. Gigi, would you go to Winter House? I, I love the shows. I just don't think it's for me. I think I'm a little bit older than the people in the house. Um, I also have a son and, you know, it'd be a little, little hard for me to leave my son to go hang out with a bunch of wild, young, you know, kids. Kids? I love you. Sorry, sorry. Oh, Grace. Yeah. I feel like you guys would be great for it. Would you I, love to do that? And do you watch? Do. Who I would love on that show. Great. You'd be I'm down. Grace. Grace I'm would down. be so good. Yeah, I think we spend so much time in the club. It would be like, I kind of miss like a good house party. So I went and watched you guys party in the house. Um, it makes me, I would, I would love to do, I would much rather do like a winter house, summer house situation than like a dating show. You know what I mean? So I think it's more up my alley. It's more fun, less pressure. More organic too, I think. Aww, yeah, thanks. Gigi, who are thank you still you. talking to that. from Shaw's? Thank you. We miss you so much. Who are you still talking to from Shaw's? Listen, I'm, I'm obviously here at BravoCon. Reza, MJ, we're still here, you know, so we love you guys. We're OGs. We've been doing this a long time, and you guys have been doing it for us a long time. So it's awesome to be here while we can be. I'll say that. Daisy, uh, not done yet on is your dream not man done. somebody that works on a yacht, or do you want to date someone not in yachting? I would love to date someone not in yachting, but I don't see that happening. My job is too complicated. Nobody understands it. So 
I just keep getting drawn back to Yachty's. So, I mean, at this stage, I'll just date anyone, to be honest. Like, who am I kidding? Hilarious. <laughs> Here's a question. If somebody doesn't watch your show... Oh! Don't panic, Brian. Don't panic, Brian. Brian, that is the Wheel of Bravo Con alarm. I think this is your chance to impress Gigi. Why don't you go up there and take... Do a spin. Yeah. Take a spin? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's clap it up. Clap it up, clap it up. So spin it. This feels sketchy. It's very exciting. You want him to take it off? Is that what the audience wants? Is that what the audience wants? Brian, gotta impress Gigi. The audience Take wants it. Off. We're gonna Take play some off. music. Woo! Come on, ladies, up. yeah! Woo! Tell us your best dance moves, Brian. Do you know what they say? How they act on the dance floor is how it probably is in I'm the bedroom. So show Gigi what you got. I call that the tease. You that know, was hot. I'm not gonna show it off. It was hot. Did you I love it? it? Better laugh dances, honey. <laughs> did you love it? I did. A little bit. A little bit. It took liked me it. a little bit. I did. All right. We're going to play a game pretty. now. It is called Sin and Win. Uh, one at a time, you're each going to choose a special poker chip from a bowl. And they're going to show me the chip. It's going to have a symbol on it. And I'll tell you what it means. It's basically a lot like truth or dare. If you answer the question or take on the dare, somewhere, someone in the audience wins a prize. You guys ready? Gigi, go first, pick a chip. We have the cherries, which means dare. Let someone on the panel. Dare. <laughs> let someone on the panel read your last text message. I dare you. Dare me to do what? I'm actually scared. Your last text message. Do you have your phone with you? No, I can't. Is it to Brian? Okay, then you can give yeah, it Yeah, show it. Tell us a lie you've told to get out of a bad date. I don't really, I, I really, I only lie to the police. I don't really tell too many lies. You know, okay, I've never heard that, but I like it. <laughs> I'm not really much of a liar. Okay, I believe you. I think that was a truth. Will you hand this to your new boyfriend? Thank you. God. <laughs> Just pick one. We got the purse. Tell the truth. What is your favorite body part on yourself? Um, everything. Um, I, would, I would say my smile. Yeah. And what about on the opposite sex? What's your favorite body part on Gigi? Um, I answered this with Andy on Watch What Happens Live, and I'll say it again. I'm an ass man. I like a good, you know, like a good bottom. There's nothing wrong with that. Thank you for answering truthfully. I believe you. Daisy, your turn. Close your eyes. I've got um, uh, speech marks. <laughs> Those are the Bravo speech bubbles. Okay. Tell us a lie you've told to get out of a bad date. I mean, I, I do the cramps a lot. I do, <laughs> you know. Headache. Like, yeah, I'm tired. I'm, I'm not... A, elaborate liar but i definitely lie in a pinch in a pinch a little white lie spare their feelings the cramp one comes up a lot yeah. they can't say to that <laughs> they really can't good one thank you joe next go money sign baby oh i like that money. dollar sign tell the truth have you ever been caught in action in doing the deed um <laughs> By my mom? No, th th uh, th thank God, no, not by my mom. Um, have I been caught in action? Yeah, I think like I was caught making out in the back of like Republic, but it wasn't anything crazy. I don't think I've ever been like I've never been like caught out like with like a girlfriend with like the dad home and like thrown out of the house, like sneak out the window. But definitely at work a few times. All right, thank you, Grace. You're up.
Palm trees. Palm trees. Palm trees. Okay, palm trees. Tell the truth. What's your most unusual turn on? I don't know. Good music, I guess. I'm sorry. Good music. Good music. Good music. I don't know. I, I love good music. Good, good taste it, in music. Like that's a big turn on for me. I agree completely. Yeah. Um, I guess that's unusual. I don't know. Some people don't look at it as a turn on, but for me, it is. What's your favorite song? My favorite song, gosh, now. right now. I mean, I love "Take It Off" by Fisher. Yeah, I love house music.